Hey, y'all. Um, I am just leaving the doctor's office, and it is only 9 o'clock. I had an 8.30 appointment. You know, when you have mental health issues, conditions, whatever you want to call it, and you have to see a mental health professional. I'm going to tell you, you have to fight sometimes to get a good doctor. I have had some stinkers, and I know that I've talked to you all about that before, and, and that's not what this, you know, video is about. Um, but I tell you what, I am so blessed with this psychiatrist. He just, he's a good listener. Um, he has good guidance. He's awesome. But, um, I was supposed to have fasted on my last visit so I could get blood work done. Now see this office, it is so good of them to do this because I do need some blood work done. But every time I go to see him, it's $35. And I'm not complaining you guys. I am thankful that I have what I have. Medicare is not that great, but it is, you know, it is something. Um, oh my Lord, what a beautiful home. Um, so, today, I remembered to fast. Now, I have always had this, uh, unreasonable, I think, fear of needles. I mean, I told y'all before when I was a little girl and I had to go in and get shots before school. They put me up on the table and the nurse turned her back. To make it even worse, I had to lie on my stomach and they were going to give my shots in my butt. That was so humiliating to me. Um, I was always older and a little more mature for my age. Um, I was more aware. Uh, most little kids that age, five, six years old, however old you are, um, it's like things like that, you know, they don't really phase you very much. But I was humiliated. So, as soon as her back was turned, I jumped off the table, pulled my drawers up, and I ran outside and got in our car and locked all the doors. Well, it took a while. To get me out of that car and it took someone to hold down the top of my body and my legs and someone to give me the shots now you know back when I was in school uh, they would nurses would come and they would give immunizations at the school and so they would give all the kids a permission paper and you had to take it home, get it signed, and bring it back. I would ball mine up and throw it in the trash can. I did get my immunization, so they would call my mother. But I was so scared. I was terrified of needles. And then when I became a dental assistant, in my very early 20s, I, I really, 
you know, I started getting used to them. Now, we used them on other people. <laughs> but, um, I was and have been, and I hope I always will be, blessed with huge veins. Phlebotomist love me because I'm not the only person in the world that has a thing about needles y'all there are grown men that will pass out I don't know what it is I, I, I don't know um, but anyway uh, yeah I have I can't you know show them to you I got a band-aid right there but I mean especially my right arm I they don't I, I don't even have to have a fist. They put a tourniquet on. They say, you know, I almost don't even need this uh, tourniquet. But, I mean, just like that. Three great big vials of blood. But, so that's something that I am thankful for. I know that's kind of a weird thing, y'all. But I am so thankful. Poor Terry. When he goes to the doctor, they have to stick that poor man so many times. He has got little teeny, you can see them under his skin. They're just, they're barely like a line. That's got to be miserable. So, what am I thankful for today? I am thankful for fat veins. And y'all know all of my friends when I was a teenager were druggies. Uh, they smoked pot. Uh, whatever was around for them to hit up. You know, now, I was never in the room with anybody that was uh, hitting up with a needle. Oh, no, no, no. And, um, but they used to always tell me, I can't believe you're not going to hit up with us. Look at those veins. I'm like, you leave my veins alone. Okay. You're stupid for what you're doing. So don't even worry about it because all your veins are going to collapse. I was mean to my friends. Why did I hang out with those people? Go ahead. Um, you know, I don't know why I hung out with those people. I truly don't. Um, but I did. Older people, um, you know, older than me, more mature than me. Well, not really. But um, there's a lady leaving. She's probably wondering, because I'm sitting in here uh, next to her front yard talking to myself in my van. Um, so, you know, does it ever make you wonder? I mean, was it because I was more comfortable because of my parents and my siblings? Uh, my parents were alcoholics. My siblings were drug addicts. Uh, you know, maybe it's because I, I just was comfortable in that environment but I was mean to my friends I used to tell them how stupid they were and they were screwing up their lives why were they doing that so why was I there well for one thing I always cleaned up after everybody and one of the girls had a baby Tasha and I always took care of Tasha. Both her parents, they weren't married, but both her parents partied together and uh, they partied hard. So I always took care of Tasha. So um, maybe that's why I hung out with those people. It was sad though. When you walk in on your little brother in some nasty old trailer that the older guys had rented and they're all passed out five of them and there's a rag 
soaked with Lord knows what in a baggie. They put it up to their face called Huffing Tolio, whatever that was. Horrible to see that stuff. Oh, anyway, I didn't start. I have good veins, y'all. That was the whole point of the video. Now, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to turn the camera around because there's a couple of really pretty houses here. And there's one right across from me that really is um, dead weeds. Just dead weeds and a falling down fence and a palm tree that really needs to be trimmed down. But anyway, you know, uh, I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying that there's a big difference here in this little neighborhood. So I'm going to shut you off and turn you around. Do something fun today.